inventions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, Get Out While I Pretend to Be Sleeping, set in New York. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it, and has been supplied to us today courtesy of Shaco1610. So moving on to our briefing, to Winternix, I saw your gameplay video of Bon Odori, thank you very much. And moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them, with no stipulations on how we dispatch them, or what we wear whilst we do so, so we have a free map. And for today's challenge we'll be starting as the bank robber, we're going to have a remote egmetic gas grenade stored up in the loading bay, and we'll be bringing with us an egmetic gas grenade, our ever trusty lockpick, and a seeker one. So, right from the start and off the bat, we're just going to wait for that camera to pan away from us and then we can make our way around, retrieve our briefcase. We don't have a pistol on us today, so we will have to avoid the camera outside of the security office. Uh, it's easily enough done and once we're past the camera, we can then lockpick the cabinet on the wall retrieve the chloroform from within and add the chloroform to the ventilation system make our way back to the security office avoiding the camera once again we're then gonna activate the ventilation system and that will render three of the guards in the security room unconscious there is a fourth guard just outside the room so if we head up the vault stairs, take out our gas grenade from the briefcase and return it to the briefcase before heading back down the stairs, the fourth guard should enter into the room and immediately be affected by the gas. So before we enter into the security office, we're gonna turn off the air conditioning. We'll take out the surveillance system and then we're going to take the key card from the guard at the front of the room along with his outfit and then we can make our way on to our targets so we're going to make our way into the deposit box room lockpick our way through the gate we're going to head up now to the second floor and we're going to grab the wet floor sign here past the janitor on the first floor he will fall over and render himself unconscious. No one will notice. And once we make our way up into the second floor bathroom, we're gonna just quickly get rid of the drug taking employee in the bathroom. Uh, he will be an annoyance to us later on if we don't remove him immediately. So once he is out of our way, the bathroom is now ours to command. We're going to make our way out of the bathroom into the investment area. Now in here are all of our targets. There they all are. So one to our left, two to our left even, two to our right, and one off in the distance there. So we need to get at least two of our targets with our gas grenade in a briefcase at once. Now currently, none of the targets are close enough to each other to make that happen. But if we ap approach and attack uh, the target furthest away from where we were standing, which is this young lady here, we're gonna use our gas grenade and we use the desks for cover we're going to make her sick and we will deal with her first of all and then when we return uh, 
two of our other targets will have moved ever so slightly, not much, but they are now or will be close enough to get them both with the gas grenade. Uh, this is quite important as we don't have enough methods to get people to come to the toilets otherwise. So we're going to make our way back to our layer, the bathroom, and await the arrival of our target. And when she arrives, we can reintroduce her to her breakfast. Uh, we are going to have to clean her body away. We do have a crate provided, which is now full. And we can then basically lure the rest of our targets into the toilets. So. We're going to head back to the investment floor, try to avoid uh, Mr. Perez, who will frequent this area, and he will be an enforcer. And Mr. Fabian, who we just passed there, who is not an enforcer. So as you can see, the two targets on our right uh, have just kind of moved ever so slightly closer together. They are now just within range of each other if we stand directly between the pair of them and if we will trigger our gas grenade that should make both of them sick. Let's just get confirmation. Yes, the young lady is following us along. So once again, we are going to get ahead of them and await their arrival in our uh, layer here our base of operations so the gentleman has arrived first uh, he is also a little bit indecisive about which public toilet he wants to stick his face in he's ultimately gone for the one on the right uh, we are gonna let both targets get well into their routine of e uh, ejecting anything that disagrees with their stomachs and then we're going to make our way through each cubicle one after the other we'll start with the young lady and we'll snap her neck and then we will reintroduce the gentleman to his breakfast and that will put us three targets down and we have just the two more to go and luckily enough we have a bodyguards outfit on and a seeker one so we're just going to remove this gentleman into the other cubicle and we will have a nice little collection of employees building up in here. So we're going to make our way now back to the investment banking area and when we get there we can line up our shot with our seeker one and the first of these two shots will be somewhat tricky as as you can see there are other people around and we need to get rid of at least one of these two targets now I'd like to get this guy uh, who we are aiming at right here uh, in the, the one with his back to us or they both do so the guy here we're just going to wait for the young lady over on our right to look away briefly which will give us a very small window of opportunity to shoot our target in the back with the seeker one he will get sick he will make his way to our base of operations here and when he finally decides to join us he will go into the cubicle with the toilet he will proceed to begin being sick and we will then reintroduce him to not only his breakfast but the breakfast he has already regurgitated so that's four targets down once again we are going to have to clear up the body as we're not quite done in this room just yet and if those of you who are smarter than me remember the canvas crate is full so we'll be using the cubicle next door as body storage so we're just going to grab up our briefcase I don't want to leave that lying around somewhere and distracting people uh, we don't need it anymore but we don't want it distracting people and ruining our run hello again Mr Fabian do you have nothing better to do than walk around all day so our final target again is somewhat tricky although less so than the first guy 
So my initial thought was to stand here and shoot the target. And then I realized that there's someone on the other side of the desk there who has a nice, clear, unobstructed view of us. So we're going to return to the desk where we eliminated our first target from. And from here, we should be able to get a nice clean shot on our target without anyone spotting us. He will get sick. He will make his way to the bathroom, just like many of his colleagues have done earlier on in the mission. And completely unbeknownst to him, just like everybody else in the mission we have targeted, they will not be returning to their post. So once our final target joins us in the bathroom, just like we did with many of the others, we can then join him in the cubicle, reintroduce him to his breakfast. Uh, his looks somewhat more substantial, so we had to take a little bit longer there reintroducing him to whatever it was he had for breakfast. So all that's left for us to do now is to make good our escape. The nearest available safe exit is the janitor's exit and we just so happen to have the key lying on the unconscious janitor. So we're going to grab the key and make good our escape. So there we go, one more trending contract taken care of. We have confirmation all of our targets were eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.